jackpot. <laughs> some merch, some American merch. So cute and I'm nowhere to be found. Oh my God. Look how cute. They also, they also have shorts, which is kind of cute. We're in the guy section. I think I might get this top. Summer rates under 15. That could be your red. Yeah, that's a good one. Practice makes perfect is so cute. I think I found my red one. I'm gonna get yours truly as my red one. They have the Riley Sager. This is a good red, white, blue one. This is a cute blue one, but I didn't read the first one. Do you have to read the first one? Would it be awful to buy this one though as my blue book if I haven't even read Good Girl Complex yet? I'm actually not gonna get that one because I don't have any paperback mystery thrillers. And I think I'm gonna go with the Riley Sager. We had to update to a cart because it was getting too heavy, but we got drinks. The new Too Late is out. We just got home. Today is the 4th of July and in America, it is the summer celebration every year. Everyone always throws parties and barbecues. So we wanted to kind of put something together today in theme to celebrate. A few days ago, we did go to Target to get some supplies for today. And of course we had to stop at the book section, but we thought this time would be fun if we got red, white, and blue books. So that's what we did. So for my red book, I got Yours Truly by Abby Jimenez. You guys know I have been wanting to start an Abby Jimenez book, I thought this would be a perfect red one. I know Abby Jimenez is a super popular romance writer right now, and you guys know I love reading romances. I have really high hopes for this. So the first one I got, I thought was perfectly in theme because it has red and blue, and it is The Only One Left by Riley Sager. This is gonna be my first Riley Sager read. I do own one more book by him, but I haven't read it yet. This is his new release. It sounds spooky. We've talked about this one a lot so far this year. It was like one of our most anticipated releases. So when I saw it there, I knew I had to get it. This is the one where there's like a caregiver. She is tending to this woman who is accused of murder or something. So I want to learn more about it. I want to get into it. I got this one. It's perfect for it. I actually saw that this is now an add-on on Book of the Month for July, but I didn't end up picking one for this month. I skipped, so I, I thought it was fine. And I didn't want mine to have like the little coin. The next one I got is Blue and White, and it is When No One Is Watching. It's a mystery thriller. I know Lauren also owns this one as well so maybe we could buddy read it we'll just add it to the list of never-ending books we both need to read i don't really know much about it so i'm just gonna read the back it says sydney green is brooklyn born and raised but her beloved neighborhood seems to change every time she blinks condos are sprouting up like weeds her sale signs are popping up overnight and the neighbors she's known all her life are disappearing sydney channels her frustration into a walking tour and finds an unlikely and unwanted assistant and one of those new arrivals to the block her neighbor theo 
That was a lot of words just to tell me that. The neighbors may not have moved to the suburbs after all, and the push to the community may be more deadly than advertised. That sounds like a whole lot going on. It's 350 pages, so not too bad. I think this will be a fun mystery thriller. Honestly, it was blue. My last one, I kind of cheated because I couldn't find a blue one that I really wanted. Everything that I mostly want there, I want hardcover, and they never really have those. So I did get a hardcover. This one has white on it, and that was my reason behind it and it is House Apollo by Crystal Sutherland and you have this which is so embarrassing <laughs> because why do we keep on books that the other person owns this one I have been wanting though the cover is absolutely gorgeous why a mystery you know we love those basically we're following three sisters one of them goes missing and as they're trying to search for her they realize they're not the only ones searching kind of got like a supernatural twist I don't want to read too much more about the plot but the cover it's gorgeous okay you, you gotta give it to me there's White. Yeah, white border. This is pushing it though a little bit, but since my other one has red and blue, come on. This is so cute. Like. It is. <laughs> so we got those for the books. We also just got a bunch of other stuff that we want to make for today. A couple years ago, we went off for the 4th of July. We made a bunch of cool stuff and we're kind of trying to top that this year. So let's just go through what we got. We just got simple star cups and little platters to put stuff on. We are planning on making some cupcakes so of course we got red velvet flavor and icing. So we will be doing that as well. For those cupcakes, we have red, white, and blue sprinkles and then blue cupcake liners. And we also got cookie dough because we want to do a big cookie cake. That was like our favorite thing from that last time. I still think about that cookie cake. It was so freaking good. And we top it with like icing and blueberries and raspberries. From Dollar Tree, we just got a couple things. We got the stuff we put up already, which isn't too much. We got some lace. We also did star napkins and then like three little foldable fans. I already busted these open because I'm just always hot. <laughs> and then we have the fruit for our cookie cakes. We got that from Costco because they have the best fruit. We also got red, white, and blue drinks because we're going to try to do something. We'll see if it works. There was a lot of math involved when it came to which drink was denser. So we'll see. Too much math for me. I think that's about everything. We're just going to go ahead and get started. We also want to read some of our books today if possible. I plan to start my Abby Menes one. I don't know which one I'm going to start yet. But we do want to read while everything is like baking in in the oven. I guess let's just get started. Look how cute! A perfect circle. This color's gorgeous. That color is scary. Oh, I feel like it's summer week already. all you guys but everything has come out of the oven it has cooled down we've started decorating and we got to read a little bit of our books so while we were waiting for everything to cool lauren started the only one left and i started yours truly and we got a good way into it we did i mean we read for a little bit and we thought we could just update you guys on how the books are going while we finish because we have a lot left to do i was nervous going into an abby Jimenez book just because i didn't know if i was actually going to love it like everyone else does but i'm really liking it so far this is the second book in a series and we do get to see the girl from the first book. So now I do want to go back and read her book because I do like her character. Basically, they're all doctors at this hospital and we're following Brianna. Her life is just super chaotic right now. She's going through a really bad divorce. Her brother is sick. He needs a kidney transplant and she's trying to get this promotion and it's not looking too great for her because there's this new doctor and his name is Jacob Maddox. Right off the bat, she doesn't like him because she's like intimidated that he's going to take her promotion. But we get to know him and he's like so sweet of course he's not like any other male character i've read about he's not mr perfect he's not like super overly masculine type of guy he has a lot of struggles himself he suffers from like social anxiety different mental health issues and i really like reading that about a man and not just having that typical guy as our love interest they're just both really fun characters to read about doing a little fake dating opposites attract there's like family drama jacob maddox is also going through some really past trauma with his last relationship
relationship because his ex-girlfriend is now going to marry his brother, Jeremiah. Ooh. I mean, it's going really good. Everything is super entertaining. I'm glad you like her book so far because I know you've been wanting to read her and this is one that you felt like was gonna be a automatic buy for you like Taylor Jenkins. Mm -hmm. So would you read the other series she has as well? Yeah, I think I would read it all. I love that for you. I wish I could say the same. No. No, okay. So I started The Only One Left. I like it. I was not expecting it to be sad. And I think the tone has been pretty sad so far. Basically in the book, our main character's name is Kit. She has been a caregiver for the past 12 years and something happened with her last patient that got her suspended. So she's been back living at home for the last six months. She's been desperate to find a job to move back out of her childhood home. So the only one available is to be a caregiver for this infamous woman in town. This woman's name is Lenora and basically years ago, in the middle of the night, her entire family was found dead in the house and the only other person there was Lenora and she was unharmed so everyone kind of just assumed she did it because there was no other way anyone else could have got into the house she was never charged and she was never proven guilty but everyone in the town kind of just went with it I thought it was gonna be a little more creepy spooky thrillery and so far at least it's kind of just been sad I feel bad for Lenora I feel bad for her situation because even if she did it or not she lost her entire family at the age of 17 she's been pretty much held captive at her house since then and now she's like super old, can't do anything. She can't even communicate. The only motion she has is a little bit in her left hand. It's just so sad. Like I hate reading about old people. I do like though, throughout the book, we get like a little something from Lenora like telling her story. And then we go back to Kit's point of view and how she's like in the house and getting to know her and stuff. That's kind of it for our book. So we, we only really read for like maybe an hour, hour and a half. How did Shatter Me go? Okay, yeah, Shatter Me. I just finished Shatter Me. I don't know. I feel like I enjoyed the first half of the series more because I know at one point the author just wanted to do the first three and that was right. it and then she kept going like years later and I feel like I just liked the original first three the last one I just read I don't know there was something about it where it was just like so chaotic for no reason did it feel forced because technically the story was already over I think so it, I think that's exactly how I felt they started trying to like go back into the past times which it made sense, but it just felt like a lot. I still love all the characters. I still care about them, but like where the story is right now, mm -hmm. I was just like, okay, this is too much happening. So I just want to see like what's going to happen, how they're going to end the story and what's going to happen with Kenji, you know? I need Kenji well, yeah, to like, Kenji. be with someone. Overall, I think I just liked the beginning more. That sucks. That's how I am with Addicted. Yeah, definitely. I'm currently reading I'm Glad My Mom Died. And it is good. Yeah. Are you listening it's to the audio? I am. Everyone was saying to you, she does narrate it. It's a hard story to read about, but the way that she narrates, the way that it's written, it just kind of hits. It's very interesting to learn more about what happens mm -hmm. like in that type of Is she going into industry? like Nickelodeon? Yeah, a little bit. So we just got there. So she started out when she was, I think maybe six. Oh. And I barely got to when she got iCarly. So we're like, kind of just getting into that now. But I'm hoping this sparks a love for memoirs for me because I would love to read more nonfiction. I'm also listening to Goblet of Fire because it's the only one I can listen to without having the physical book because I know the story enough that it's okay. Like I understand what's happening. I know the characters. I know what's gonna happen. What number is that? That's four. So a long way to go. I'm on like the second Harry Potter movie. That's right. <laughs> and we have to start over honestly probably yeah. because I don't think you even remember what happened. What was your um, house? I'm a Ravenclaw. I think you were Slytherin. I was a Slytherin. I love that for you. I know, I just like Draco, so that was fun. We all do. Yeah. Now it's yeah. time for our favorite part. So we've mapped out where we're gonna put our blue. We're making this into an American flag, which right. is, that's, I know, but it, 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 it's cute. The blueberries and the raspberries are good, so it's, it's cute. Fun. We do want to participate in Summer Ween. That starts next week. Yes. If you don't know what that is, basically a bunch of creators host, not us, um, we will list them down below. I think it's like Gabby Reads and someone else who hosts 
Summerween, they basically put together a list of prompts and essentially it's reading spooky horror books during the summer trying to get into the spooky season earlier, which I love. Mm -hmm. I think I was too late to do it last year, so I'm glad that I'm able to do it this year. And the prompts are cute. Yeah, I just don't know what I'm gonna read yet. Oh, you can read your My Best Friend's Exorcism. Yes, I definitely want to do that. I've got a lot of books I want to read in October though, so I'm sure I can just choose some from there. We're gonna keep going with this. We're gonna just do a time lapse so you don't have to sit here and listen to us <laughs> placing blueberries. <laughs> but we will show you everything and have it all spread out when it's done. So yeah, we'll see you in a bit. Okay, so we're done with all the fruit for the pizza cake. And now Lauren's just gonna finish icing it and I'm gonna start editing this video. Guys, we're done. This is everything we made. American flag pizza cookie cake. Red velvet cupcakes. Just red jello because we don't have blue. Purple drinks. And we got a little bit into our books. Overall a successful day. Now it's time to go see some fireworks. Already almost messed the whole thing up. <laughs> or maybe you'd spray it. I don't know. I'm spraying it for you. <laughs> yeah, pan it up because I don't want it to be stuck. All right, all right, all right. Okay, good. Good thing. <gasps> That's a full <laughs> eyelash in my eye. <laughs> Dude, already this is starting off bad. <laughs> I'm just like a little stuck. Wait, wait. You kind of put a lot. I know I told you to put a lot, but. It's a little much. Just kind of. Alright. Ooh. Yeah, there you go. This is not giving circle. <laughs> I just washed my hair. Look at how gorgeous this bowl of fruit is. So gorgeous. And it's so good. Nice and fresh. Yeah. <laughs> I hate you. <laughs> it is. Like, that fruit is good. No, I know. It's been a while since the fruit has been that good. Okay, so it's yeah, Alaska. nursery rhyme that they made up about her and it's like Lenora Hope killed her sister with a rope like a whole bunch of stuff But I'm like, why have I read this poem ten times already? Yeah, for these last ones. I wanted to kind of go for like a Oh, cute. You know, yeah Yeah <laughs> What's that not? That's cute. cute. Okay, perfect. I ended up doing the job you squeezed four into there? Yeah. <laughs> you don't think it's gonna mess up the icing? Okay. Oh, Ooh, the fireworks have started. Ooh. Pour it so slow at like the, <laughs> on the side of the cup. Yeah. What? Guys, we're attempting to make red, white, and blue drinks. Not too sure this is gonna work. Yeah, we'll see. Should I try with mine? Here, record it. Okay. So right white now. doesn't go next. Not this just on my phone. Okay, cool. <laughs> Hello? Wait, I want to talk to whoever just pull up the table. <laughs> Our Wait, math was what? wrong. Tell me that's working. Is it? I'm so confused. Guys, never mind. Forget it. We just got purple drinks. 